in which a man enters the masjid of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam while the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam is delivering a sermon and he says our messenger of Allah we are about to die we are about to be dead there is no rain it's so drought it's so dry why don't you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send rain upon us our family is about to die our cattle and our animals are about to die our lands are so dry ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with some rain so the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then and there raised his hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said oh Allah send the rain upon these people the following week so seven days after this man came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said our oh, messenger of Allah we are about to be destructed we are about to die because of the flood because of the immense water that's coming on our village and coming upon us so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stop the rain so it is a miracle that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Allah azza wa jal then and there to send down the rain and then it was a miracle that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stop the rain and according to the supplication of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made that miracle appear on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so he asked for the rain right away the rain came down and then I asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stop the rain right away Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped the rain in another encounter the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he alayhi salatu wa sallam was in one of his expeditions and the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum experienced and encountered a very dry season and while they were traveling in the hot desert in the middle of the desert they were so thirsty that they wanted water they were dehydrated they wanted water and they had a small amount of water that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam put his spear in one of the bowls where the water was in and then an entire tribe as Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu says that exceeded over 300 people drank from that bowl. Miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made a pee on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another miracle regarding water where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he alayhi salatu wa sallam and the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum traveled from Medina to Mecca to perform Umrah and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum that was seized and stopped from not performing Umrah and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encamped alongside with the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum at the Hudaybiyah and there was a well and in that well, there was a bit of water. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spat in that well, and then that well started to gush water out for the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and for them to drink. And many different narrations speak about how the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, through him alayhi salatu wa sallam, and obviously at the end of the day, ultimately through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jalla is the one that makes those miracles take place. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in many different encounters with the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and different events where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will increase the amount and the volume of water where you only have a bit of water, maybe a bit of dots and drips of water but through the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and obviously through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ultimately the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam make an entire world gush water or a cup of water will be enough to feed or quench the thirst of an entire tribe these are the miracles that appeared on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam other miracles that also appeared on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were rocks and trees will greet the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is walking or the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is traveling the trees and the rocks will give salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and say assalamu alayka ayyuhal nabi wa assalamu alayka ya rasulallah peace be upon you O the messenger of Allah and one of the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu his name is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud he says by Allah I was walking with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and every rock and tree that we went past will greet the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and say assalamu alayka ya rasulallah peace be upon you O messenger of Allah and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says, By Allah, I heard it with my own ears. 
that we get past a tree and the tree will say, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. We'll get past a rock and the rock will say, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. Not only that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had mentioned that before, because he Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, yes, I experienced that while I'm walking through any road or path, I hear Every tree that I go past and every rock that I go past saying to me, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. But now you've got a Sahabi, you've got a companion that's attesting to this and saying, Yes, I heard the tree saying to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he went past them, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. I heard the rock saying to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he went past it, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. This is a miracle we know trees, plants, rocks, and solids. Then speak, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that made everything speak, so he made the tree and the rock speak. In another event, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was proposed to him to establish a pulpit, a member where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can stand on, before the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam standing on the member, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to stand on the ground level, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to lean on a tree. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would no longer lean on that tree. So for the first time the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to stand on that member while the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam is delivering his sermon, the rest of the companions are hearing someone crying, someone weeping. So they looked around, they can't see anyone amongst them that is crying, no one is crying. They looked around, no one is crying. And then they've realized it was that tree that was crying and weeping from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not leaning on it anymore. So what did the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do? Alayhi Salatu Wasallam descended and he came down from the member, his pulpit. And then the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went towards that tree that he used to lean on. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comforted that tree. And then that tree stopped weeping and crying. And then the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went again on the member. Subhanallah, a great miracle. And a man, a Bedouin, comes to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says to him, O Messenger, O Muhammad, I would not even believe in you as a Prophet and a Messenger of Allah until that tree comes and testifies that you are the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, Go and tell that tree to come to me. So this man, who went along, he thought that he'll make mockery of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he went to that tree and he said, Muhammad is calling you. So that tree pulled its roots out of the ground and came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa annaka rasulullah. I testify that there is no God except Allah and you are the messenger of Allah. And this Bedouin, he thought that he'll make a mockery of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made that miracle appear on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another event, a Bedouin will even come to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dragging his camel and he says to the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, I would not even believe in you as the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah until my camel and mount believes in you that you are the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke to the camel and asked the camel and said to it, do you believe I am the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah? So the camel spoke and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa annaka rasulullah. I testify that there is no God except Allah and I testify that you are the messenger of Allah. Now yes, we might find that to be a bit amazing and some of us might even deny the fact that an animal spoke. What's so hard on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make an animal speak? Allah created the animal and Allah created us. Allah created us to speak and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the animals not to speak. And the one that made us speak will make the animal speak. The way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention in the Quran al Kareem, in the hereafter, where Allah azza wa jalla will make it and limbs and organs testify against you. Your hands will speak against you, your eyes will speak against you, your tongue that you speak with will speak against you, your ears will speak against you, your feet will speak against you, your thighs will speak against you. Then you say, What did you even speak against me? And not only that, you even witnessed against me. So they say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us speak, and He is the one that made everything speak. So it's not hard on Allah Azza wa Jalla, nowhere near it. That it is hard upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Him to make an animal speak, or even a tree to speak, or even a rock to speak. These are the miracles that appeared on the hands of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.